Rash is localized versus spreading. A localized rash, pictured here, tends to tell us that the rash is more likely to be benign, more likely can be treated at home. It is more likely to respond to over-the-counter preparations and home remedies. And more importantly, it tells us that the immune system can control and combat the foreign entity that is causing this rash in the body. Although there may be a serious medical condition that is responsible versus a rash that is spreading. For example, a cellulitis is shown here. This tells us something very differently. It tells us that this could be limb threatening and life threatening. It most importantly tells us that the immune system can no longer combat the foreign entity that is responsible for this rash and that it needs assistance through either, excuse me, through either medical intervention and or surgical intervention in order to rid the body of whatever is going on. Rash shapes. For shapes, we're going to focus on Lyme disease because of its presentation over stages. For example, Lyme disease in its early stages presents as a linear rash as seen here. This is not the classic presentation that we generally see with Lyme disease, but it is a possible shape of one that we, we may see. This is the most common way we see and diagnose Lyme disease as a target or bullseye rash somewhere on the skin with the appropriate history. However, Lyme disease can also appear as a circular rash as seen here. All diseases can have a myriad of presentations and shapes rash with accompanying symptoms always always have these rashes medically evaluated for example a rash with constitutional symptoms such as cough and fever we may tend to think more of infection versus a rash that appears with uh, fatigue or appetite changes that may put us more in the mind of a cancer a rash with um, a headache or visual disturbance can make us think of allergies, but just have all of these, especially they need to be medically evaluated. Rash location. Rash location. For this particular rash, we're going to talk about soles of the feet and palms of the hand. There are only about nine conditions that present this way but we only think really and focus on about seven of them due to their morbidity and mortality with the mnemonic tricks those are toxic shock syndrome seen with tampon use rickettsia rickettsia responsible for rocky mountain spotted fever coxsackie virus hand foot and mouth disease kawasaki disease scarlet fever as uh, with strep scabies and of course, syphilis. Rash with discharge. Now, we would like all rashes with discharges to be medically evaluated just so that we can get a culture of the discharge, especially if it is a repeated discharge so that we could treat it better. However, I know that you don't always like to come in because you may say, oh, it's just a pimple. But here's one pimple that we do not want you to touch. And that is because the location is in the area of what we call the triangle of death. So when this pimple is burst, it now breaks the skin's barrier and is an open passageway for a foreign entity to enter the body and go directly to the brain and cause a super infection that can be fatal. As well, let's get into the bloodstream and um, cause a septicemia, which can also be fatal.
rash appears without warning. Now, 99% of the time, a rash that appears without warning is going to be an allergic reaction. In this picture, this is a widespread rash, most likely due to some type of allergy. Was it something they touched? Was it something um, they ingested? Whatever the cause, this is definitely going to need medical intervention in order to combat whatever entity that caused this presentation. All allergy or allergic reaction rashes really need to be medically evaluated. Painless rash versus painful rash. We're going to focus on syphilis for this one because it falls in both scenarios. Now, although the picture shows three stages, there's actually four stages of syphilis. In stage one, three to 90 days after exposure, you will get a painless, painless sore. And after a while, that sore will go away. And most likely, you won't have it evaluated. Stage two occurs four to 10 weeks after initial infection, and it will be a painless body rash. And you probably won't have that evaluated either, even though when these appear, they will have certain constitutional signs of maybe cold-like symptoms, fever, headaches, what have you. Stage three appears about 12 months after the initial infection, and it is actually what we call the latent period where there are no symptoms outwardly, but inside the syphilis is wreaking havoc on your internal organs. And then stage four is actually three to 15 years after the initial infection, where there is another presentation of pain, um, possibly neurosyphilis. And at that time, while we can give you medications to possibly cure syphilis infection, we will not be able to reverse any damage that has now gone on because of syphilis due to your internal organs. Rash worsens after home treatment. So here we're going to focus on ringworm. This is the classic presentation of ringworm that most of the times that we see and a lot of the uh, public knows ringworm when they see it. Sometimes, just as the ringworm, we tend to try to treat it with over-the-counter preparations or homemade remedies and sometimes what that does is change the appearance of the rash as you see here. This is also ringworm, but it's a little bit more difficult to diagnose when this is the presentation, which leads to misdiagnosis and error in treatment. So anytime you decide to treat a rash, please first take a picture before treating and bring that with you, as well as bring in whatever preparation that you put on the rash um, for the medical evaluation so that it would help us diagnose you correctly and treat you appropriately. Rash changes appearance. So here we're gonna focus on mold. Now all of us are born with mold, some more than others, different colors, shapes, whatever. The arrow here is pointing to a brown spot we call cafe au lait spot. Generally, when you are born, we look for moles in spots such as these. We count them, we measure them, all of that. We like to count at least less than 13 because we have a propensity that the more than 13 um, could possibly lead to a cancer later on in life. But the changes we want you to pay attention to are the mole starts to grow hair, it starts to bleed, it starts to itch, it starts to increase in size or um, it starts to change shape. And also, if you get a new mold, please make sure you're medically evaluated because the concern we have at that point is whether or not there is an underlying cancer. Rash with odor. Here, we're going to focus on yeast. Candida applicants. Here is a picture of a baby's bum with a severe diaper rash from yeast. And remember, yeast grows in dark, moist areas 
And so this is probably a balm that's been left in a wet diaper multiple times, too many times, too long. This is a picture of oral thrush, also caused by yeast, most commonly seen in infants that drink milk and don't uh, have their mouth cleaned out and their tongue um, wiped clean after um, drinking milk, and they develop this. But it's also seen in HIV patients. This is yeast that grows under the breast um, from being sweaty and moist, dark area. This is vaginal thrush, the white you see that grows yeast infections in the vagina. And yeast also grows on the penis. Um, this is penile balanitis. And remember, yeast can grow anywhere on the lips, uh, anywhere on the body. And yeast has an odor. It can be a sweet odor, such as smells like honey, it can smell like cookies. It can be a foul odor that smells musty. It could also just be a yeast odor that smells like yeast or flour and bread. So, so many odors can be the cause of candidiasis albicans, better known as yeast. This slide is just a print slide to summarize the 10 signs, the Eurasia series that we spoke about in the video. This concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already joined our channel. Click the like button. That will really help us with the engagement of the video. Share the video. Comment to tell us what you like, what you didn't like, what topic you would like us to discuss on the channel. And click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any time that we upload. Thanks again for watching. Bye.